Hi everyone, Rick Bray from the Plick team at Broom Tioga Boses, and we have our Zoom call all set up here. Uh, it may look a little bit different than what you have on your end because I am on a Mac, but I want to go through some of the basic settings, which should be pretty much the same on any device. The other thing that's worth bringing up is that this is using the Zoom software that I've loaded on my machine. You should be able to load that software on your machine as well. Uh, you can find that by going to to, let's see here, we'll open up a new window and I'm gonna look for Zoom on Windows, right? When I look at that, since if you're using a Windows laptop, uh, you can download Windows, uh, sorry, download Zoom for Windows right there. You can do this on a Chromebook, but you may notice that some of the controls are a little bit different. Uh, we definitely get more controls when we're on either a Mac or a PC. So let's take a look. The first thing is uh, you have four little uh, right angles over there. That lets you whoom, go full screen with it. Uh, and that's pretty darn cool. I can click them again to exit. Uh, you'll notice that I have two people here. I, I have me uh, and I have me, which is my phone, right, as another participant. But uh, some people say, well, uh, the, the speaker view is when you only see on your screen who's talking. But right here you have the gallery view, which will put us side by side and it will lay everybody out in the call as opposed to, again, speaker view just has who's talking. Now, in this case, I only have two people, so it just shows both faces. But we'll stay here with gallery view so you can see my pretty face a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna look down at the bottom of the screen down here at some of the different controls that are there. The first is mute. Now, uh, I can mute, this is my microphone, and you'll notice the green is going up and down to say that it's working. When I click on it, the line goes through it, and it mutes it, and you can still hear me because I'm recording with something else. But you'll notice it, it tells you if you're quiet for a while, it says, hey, you're muted, so it, it gives you that warning. But you can mute and unmute yourself that way. Right next to it, you can control what microphones you're using, what speakers you're using, test to make sure that it's working correctly if you want. Stop video. That's going to stop the video for you and it will put up your icon or avatar, whatever that happens to be. In my case, I uploaded a picture. Uh, but again, click on that, the line comes off it and my video is back on. This is also where I can select what camera I want to use. We'll talk about on that in a little bit. There's some cool stuff here. But some of you may have seen you can set virtual backgrounds. Ooh, right? Uh, but that is where that's done. Again, I'm pretty sure that is limited to a Mac or PC. I don't think Chromebooks let you do that. Uh, the next one I want to look at down here is security. This is where I can control some of the things within my meeting. Yes, you see, we can turn off the chat. We can turn off the ability for participants to rename themselves once they're in there. These are all things you can set in your account previous to, but you can control them here. The big one that I want to show is lock the meeting. Once I click that, no one else can join the meeting through the waiting room, uh, which is a nice feature. Uh, moving along, we have participants. You'll notice uh, when I'm here, it brings up the side window. If I'm in, woo, if I'm in not full view, there we go. It pushes it off to the side over there and I can click on participants again to make it go away. But inside participants, this is where I can invite people. I can mute all. You'll notice when I click that, I have the ability to allow them to unmute themselves or not. Uh, I can also unmute all and more. I can do all sorts of stuff over here, which I would just recommend you check that out and see what's there. Uh, the last one I think I want to check out in this video is the chat feature. Uh, this chat allows the participants to message each other, which can be really, really powerful as a back channel tool. Now, uh, you'll see right now it's posting to everyone. If I select it, I can send a direct message to participant one and you'll see it says privately and that means not everyone's going to see it yes you can moderate this feature in your room settings we'll talk about that later but what i do want to show is here uh, if i have it set to everyone let me pause the video for a second and send myself a private message from my other account so hang on just one second all right, so I have it all queued up. What I do want to point out is that you'll notice my chat right now says everyone, but when I send this message, boom, I get the private message from the person. And if you look at my chat setting is automatically set to private message them back.
So if I were to send a message right now, it would just go back to that one participant individually. Uh, if I want to send a message to everyone, I just have to click that button and select it to go back to everyone. So that's just an introduction to some of the controls that you have available to you when you're using the Zoom software on your Mac or PC. Again, your mileage may vary slightly if you're using a Chromebook. But if you have any questions on Zoom or anything else instructional technology related, please feel free to drop me an email at rbray at btboces.org. If you like this video and found it helpful, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And you're always welcome to subscribe to this channel to get notifications when new content is posted. And as always, thanks for watching.